Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to another video from our Execute Automation. And today we are going to talk about one of the most important questions that I have been asked from students asking what's really going on with the SpecFlow plugin because I can't see the SpecFlow plugin or the SpecFlow extension either in the Rider IDE but even though I have it in the Visual Studio IDE, it has got so many different problems. So let's see all these things in this particular video and understand what's really going on with the SpecFlow plugins. So before we even start with the project, if we just go and search for SpecFlow uh, VS extension, you will get to this particular place over here. So let's say if I just go into this particular extension, the marketplace, you can see that this particular project is currently available over here and there are so many downloads currently happening. But if you just go to the uh, GitHub repo of this particular uh, project over here, you will notice that this particular project has not been maintained from last year. It's quite old this time. Even though they support .NET 8, it still has got so many different problems if you start using the plugin by yourself. So what I really mean about that is, let's say if I'm going to create a new project, uh, and let's say maybe even before I do that, let's say I'm going to just continue uh, without code. I'm going to go to the extensions over here. And in order for us to get started with the spec flow, we need to have a spec flow extension, right? So I'm going to go and search for spec flow here. You will get two different options this time. I will get to this particular ro rock and roll uh, in a minute. But you will see this one, the spec flow for Visual Studio 2022. This is the extension that we always use. So let's say I'm going to install this particular um, extension uh, and I close the Visual Studio and this is going to spawn up uh, or install uh, the Visual Studio extension for me behind the scene. And now if I open the uh, Visual Studio once again, uh, you should see the uh, SpecFlow uh, extension already been installed while I try creating a new project you should see that um, there is going to be a specflow project extension that is available over here. So let's say I'm going to choose this specflow project extension. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to create a new project like specflow project one. You will immediately notice that the framework currently supported in the in the in the window is actually .NET 6. It's not .NET 8. The latest version, the LTS version, is .NET 8 today in 2024. But right now, it just shows you the .NET 6, which means it's already telling us that it's kind of obsolete, right? So let's say even I agree with this one because it is not allowing me to choose .NET 8 anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this particular uh, project with this particular plugin. You will immediately notice that within this particular project, the dependencies that it's going to be adding with this particular project template is also going to be quite obsolete. So you can see that it's always using quite an older version of the spec flow, like 3.9.4, uh, and also all the libraries are quite uh, obsolete over here. That's why you get this particular exclamation symbol. But now you have to go ahead and manually uh, update all the packages. So let's say if I'm going to uh, go to the uh, installed version over here. You see that the latest version is this one and this, uh, the the end unit is also quite latest version available. Like all these are quite later latest versions available, but everything is quite older this time. So that is the one problem that we have got over here. So it's kind of an obsolete version. And similarly, if you just go to the Rider IDE, for some reason, if you're just going to be using Rider IDE, pretty much like me, uh, then if you just go uh, and uh, go to any one of the projects, let's say uh, a unit test project, I'm going to hit create and I'm going to go to the uh, settings over here. And if I'm going to go to the uh, plugins and if I search for uh, specflow, you will notice that I don't even see a plugin called a specflow because a specflow plugin is completely taken down from the Rider IDE itself. So it, it is not even there. So what's really going on with this particular problem? Well, as I told you, the first thing is the specflow team is really not updating this particular plugin. Rather, they have just left with us with the older version of the specflow extension over here. So what should it be doing with this particular plugin then? Well, the answer is we should be using this uh, rock and roll uh, plugin or wreck and roll plugin. So you just go and search for wreck and uh, roll over here. You see that this particular uh, plugin GitHub page comes up over here. And it is also maintained by uh, Gasperi Nagy, who is the uh, original author of the BDD spec flow. So he is 
uh, co-authoring this particular rock and roll as well and you can see that it is committed yesterday which means it's quite a new version like it maintains the latest version over here there are quite a lot of contributors available so you can just go ahead and start using this plugin moving forward because you can see that it has um, support for all the uh, different uh, ides like visual 2022 vs code rider uh, and also uh, you can use it uh, without any ides if you wanted to like specflow itself so now if i just go back to my rider ide over here and let's say if i just gonna search for rec and uh, roll uh, in the marketplace you can see that i have got this particular plugin so if i just go ahead and install that it is going to be installing the plugin for me uh, and once it is there let me just show you what are things that you can get it so let's say i'm gonna add a new solution uh, and i'm gonna choose the rec and roll project and i'm gonna say first test over here and i'm gonna create it you see that the the, the version of the dotnet i have chosen is dotnet 8 uh, and now you can see that all the libraries that we have got uh, from the rec and roll are quite newer versions as well which is quite cool and if i just go to the visual studio 2022 over here and let's say if i'm gonna go ahead and install that particular plugin so let's say i'm gonna search for uh spec flow as i just showed you before we also get the rec and roll for visual studio 2022 so let's say i'm gonna go ahead and download that particular plugin and i will show you immediately when, once you start using that particular plugin within your visual studio 2022 you will notice that it is going to be uh, creating all the new uh, libraries or it's going to be using all the new libraries uh, for your project like how i showed you uh, in the rider ide which is quite cool so it's installed uh, and now if i just go to visual studio 2022 uh, over here uh, and if i create a new project and this time i'm going to choose the project template which is going to be the rock and roll uh, project over here you can see that and you will notice that immediately it's going to choose the framework as dotnet 8 instead of the uh, .NET, uh, .NET 6 that we were using before uh, i'm going to choose the ms test at the uh, test framework uh, and you will notice that the project is going to be created for us over here so that is the uh, cool thing which is going to happen if you just use the the rec and roll and once again this is going to be uh, quite an uh, updated version that you have got and you can see that all the libraries that we are using using this rec and roll is also quite new over here which is quite awesome so that's about it for you guys like how you should be using uh, the spec flow that if you are using over there just try to use that uh, moving forward and it has got all the different features that we always use like you can define the step you can go to the hooks and then you can go to the uh, uh, go to the step if you wanted to so let's say if i just go to the definition uh, because we have two plugins over here like spec flow plugin as well as the uh, rec and roll plugin there will be some problem if you use both of them together i would always highly recommend you to just remove one plugin or the extension from the uh, from the IDE because if you use both of them together you're going to have that problem so let's try to uninstall one of them well as that said that's about it guys this is the video that I wanted to talk to you about like how you should be uh, using it moving forward instead of using the obsolete uh, extension of the spec flow uh, try not using the uh, try not to use this particular spec flow for Visual Studio 2022 moving forward just try to use the rec and roll because it's quite up to date and also has got the similar functionalities that we were getting before uh, from the spec flow for Visual Studio 2022. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.